Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add a new equipment slot. So I've uh, got some sunglasses here. Um, I'm going to assume that you have a skeletal mesh already. Um, if not, I've got a video called uh, Adding Equipment Meshes and that will show you how to convert a static mesh to a skeletal mesh. So, and then uh, you want to get that imported into your project. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Blueprint, Other, then uh, Equipment Categories. Now I'm going to be adding a face category. You can add whatever it is you want to add. So add face on there, hit save. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the third person character blueprint. This again you can do this with first if you want. Uh, so third person. Then we're going to add a component. It's going to be a skeletal mesh. I'm going to call this face. Now you're going to need to drag that underneath the mesh um, component. So as a child, hit compile. Now uh, once you're in your character blueprint, you're going to want to go down to here. You see we've got face there, so we're just going to take the face, link that up to there. Then give that a compile. Hit save. We're going to go to the inventory uh, player inventory component. Head over to the event graph. Then over here on the side, you see we've got all these uh, equipment slots. So I'm just going to duplicate one of these. I'm going to name it face equipment slot. Now, uh, if we right click here and hit find references just for any one of these going to go to uh, here. So this has taken us to the equip item function. Now you can see we've got the face there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste the uh, this one here. Link that up to the face. Then with this we can just drag the face over here. Uh, don't worry about that. If you unpin that and split then plug that into there. Then uh, we want to do that again here. And then after that, take that and plug that in to there. So the next one we're going to go to is the unequipped item. So if we just click on that, it'll take us there. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste this. Do that. Link that up to the face one. Link that up to over here. And then I'm going to change this to face. And I'm going to drag face equipment slot to here and replace it. Hit compile. Next, you want to go to the update all slots uh, function. Now, with this, I'm just going to take that, disconnect that for a second. Um, then I'm going to take this, copy that, paste that, link that up here and here. Now we're just going to replace the left hand equipment slot from the ones we've copied and pasted. Just going to replace that and replace that. Take this, connect this back up, hit compile again. Next we're going to go to the set def bag uh, function. You can see here it adds all of the uh, items from your equipment slots to your bag when you die. So I'm just going to pull this out a bit. And again, we're just going to copy and paste one of the other ones. Do that. And we're going to replace it with face equipment slot. Plug that in there. Uh, don't worry about that. If you disconnect that and then plug that in, it's just unreal being a bit weird. And then next is check equipment slot function. So again here, I'm just going to copy and paste the bottom one, link that up to face, and again uh, place the face here. Again, disconnect that, right click, split, and then take the count and plug that in there. Hit compile, and then save. 
Okay, so next you want to go back into the uh, your character blueprint. I just forgot to do something there. Um, open up the viewport and then click on your face uh, skeletal mesh. Um, and you'll see we've got a rotation here. Just set that to zero. And then again with the Z height, set that to zero. You hit compile and then uh, save that. Then we're going to head over to the uh, item data table. So to find that, you go blueprints, items item data. And we're going to add a new row. I'm just going to call this glasses. Call that I am glasses. Uh, you can put a description in if you want. I'm just going to leave it as it is. We're going to set it to equipment. Equipment slot face. Uh, set these quickly. Max stack. Uh, equip. Um, I don't have an icon for it, so I'm just going to use the apple, and I don't have a static mesh, so I'm just going to use the apple again. Obviously, you'll have your your own stuff here, uh, and then you want to pick your skeletal mesh. So I've got my sunglasses. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is head over to the model viewer. So if we go uh, model viewer, it's in the blueprints folder. Open that up, and uh, you'll find this again. You're going to want to add uh, another skeletal mesh that face, uh, don't double click that, uh, add that to the skeletal mesh as a child, bring that in here and attach that to face and hit compile and save that as well. Okay so the one last thing you want to do is uh, go back into the character blueprint and head over to the construction script and you can see I've just uh, dragged in the face skeletal mesh and attach that to the target of this set master pose component uh, and once you've saved that you can go into your world uh, copy over an item that's already there open up the item variable and set to uh, whatever your item is called so mine is glasses hit play and run over there and you can see I've got my, my glasses on so if you have any other uh, problems, just uh, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to sort it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, guys, I just uh, forgot a couple of things. So I'm going to show you how to add in uh, a slot for your new item on the equipment menu. So first thing you want to do is just uh, copy just any of the uh, slots that are already there. R right click on the equipment horizontal box and hit paste. And now with your new slot, I'm just going to go over to here, select face, hit compile, I'm also going to change the name to uh, face equipment slot, head over to the graph, and we're going to get that new slot, set inventory component, and just uh, copy over the inventory component and hook that up into there. and then we're going to go down here just copy this here hook that up to face then get the face equipment slot and just replace that there hit compile then so now when we play we should have I haven't got an icon for a, for a glasses slot but you get the idea oh, just uh, Set this to glasses. Play again. So we've got our glasses on. You can see we've actually got the item there. We can equip it and unequip. Uh, that will fix now. If we just head into the. Um, so select that. Head into the designer. Then you want to select edit equipment slot. And then in here, open up the graph. And then here you'll. If you've got, for, exa uh, for example, a glasses slot, you'd have your own empty slot. So that's what uh, it's the image that shows when you haven't got an item in there. But I'm just going to use the the uh, feet one for now. So you want to select that in here. Hit compile. And there's one other thing you'll notice is if I go put these on again, you'll see his glasses are not in the right place in the uh, model view. So we're just going to fix that now. 
if you open up the blueprints folder then model viewer open up that if you head into the viewport you'll see uh, if we select face that's over there now all of the other ones are on his position so I'm just gonna click on the left hand one uh, know. so if we do that click we so we're on face now face uh, skeletal mesh then reset to defaults if we compile that it should now be in the right place Oh yeah, and we also want to go into the construction script here, drag in the face, and again connect that up to the set mask component in the target here. Hit compile. Now everything should be working as it. There we go. So it's in the right place, and we can unequip it, uh, re-equip it in that slot. 